Audio Echo Digital. With over 10 years of video experience, he has met and worked with a variety of talented individuals, from actors, actresses, directors, producers, writers, content creators, musicians, and filmmakers. From his humble beginnings as a young volunteer at his local church to becoming an award-winning filmmaker, you get to hear stories of his long journey to success. Welcome to the One More Chance podcast, hosted by filmmaker Chauncey Jackson. February 2012. While I was working at Air Records one day, everyone was informed by management that they signed their first rap group, Eugene. Eugene consisted of two cousins from South Atlanta going by the stage names Pretty Boy Nye and Couture. They created a buzz about themselves from their YouTube page posting music that they created. One of those popular songs was called Ball Out, which would be the first music video Era Records produced for them. When I heard the song during one of Era Records meetings, I instantly loved it and was ready to shoot BTS for the music video shoot day. Days prior to the music video shoot, Natalie told me that I wasn't needed for BTS footage. However, I would be an assistant cameraman for James Riley. James was a very gifted camera operator who worked for the church. I've met James before, and he was a guy who was serious about his work, and I don't blame him. Video production can be difficult, yet rewarding at the same time. Being promoted to an assistant cameraman was a role that I was uncomfortable with, but embraced the challenge ahead. The music video shoot day came, and believe it or not, it was on an early Sunday morning. I believe that the call time was 6 a.m., which was a very wise decision, because the church attendees would be pulling up around 8.30, 9 a.m. before service started at 10. It's February in Atlanta, and it was cold that beautiful Sunday morning. What made it even worse was that the wind was sporadically blow, which made the experience uncomfortable for everyone. Crew members, producers, and the director and I began setting everything up for scenes one and two. I would tell anyone who's starting out in film or video production to please stay in shape to some extent. You will be bending and lifting gear, and it can't be an exercise, so please stay in shape. Eugene arrived on set and went into the wardrobe room to pick out their first look for scene one. While they were changing to their outfits, the production crew members were reviewing all the shots, angles, and framing prepared before we went live. James was using the Canon 5D Mark III with the zoom lens. Side note, this would not be the last time I would be using this camera. The first shot of the day was on top of one of the church entrances, which was very high up. They used a crane, of course, to get everyone up and down safely. We were ready to shoot the first scene of the day. Action. The music began to play and Eugene were performing the lyrics to the song. I forgot to mention that they had two models as their love interest dancing to the beat. Everything was looking good from my perspective. We then took a break after shooting scene one and we made our transition to the gymnasium for scene two, which was the science lab scene. I will tell you that the science lab scene was my favorite scene to shoot. Why? Because it was warm inside and we didn't have to deal with that February breeze. The science lab scene looked so colorful and very realistic. Props to the set designer because they did a wonderful job. There was an actor who played the mad doctor who was just goofy as a person, so he fit the role very well. Eugene walked in wearing t-shirts with letters to the periodic system indicating that they were a science project. As much as I wanted to just sit back and watch Eugene's performance, I had a job to do. I was running back and forth to speak with the other producers to make sure that everyone was on the same page. Listening can make or break your opportunities on production sets. The next and final scene of the day was the crowd reaction and performance scene. I can say that we had about 300 people in the building for the reaction shots. That made things so much easier for James to shoot because he could capture the reactions from many angles, making the shots look realistic. We also had a dance team and a few basketball players in attendance. The basketball players dunking the basketball added so much authenticity to the music video. We were finally wrapped and I was tired. 
but I learned so much from my role as an assistant cameraman slash production assistant. I then helped James break down the set with the other crew members. Here's another tip, don't be lazy. Be of assistance, especially when breaking down the set. If you want to leave a bad taste in the director or producer's mouth, leave a set without helping. That will be the last set you will be on. All the gear and props were packed up and the Eugene Ball Out music video was finished. Before I left, I walked up to James and told him thank you for the experience. And he said, you're welcome and good work today, Chauncey. I shook his hand and drove home to rest from a long production day. That would be the last time I worked with James on any production set. A year later, James Riley passed away. Thank you so much for the memories, James. And rest in peace, my friend. A month has passed and the Ball Out music video has been edited and completed. I can't remember if I was home or at Air Records, but I couldn't wait to watch it. I went to the Air Records YouTube page, clicked on the video, and it began to play. I will tell y'all that I was smiling all the way through the music video, recalling each shot James captured on his camera. The Bala music video was an experience that opened a new door into music video production for OCMG. Before we end this episode, here's the official Bala music video. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time. Keep playing cause I know the team needs me. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I am B. Uh, Sting, I wear the B. Okay. Winning from the start. Yeah. Game natural untutored. Yeah. Now you know we are the balling dogs untutored. Yeah. All I wanna do is ball out. Hurt me till I fall out. Hurt. And now I'm looking so I'm like a winner. Pay them shows until they stop. That's when I went to the jeweler and got my ear and rest a rock tan. Uh, Steve Jobs stuntin' I pull up, go on the telly. Initials PBN, no jelly. Flow ugly, no Betty. Team of winners always in a stunt huddle. Two of everything, that's why they callin' me the stunt double. Get a hater locked up, no money. Bail lagging, Lambo low sitting on all foes. Hind legs, tail wagging. Winners splurging daily, first name not Carson. I'm the fire, spit that microphone on arson. First, second, third quarter, ballin' out of Trojans Fourth quarter, Lion King, move out the world All I wanna do is ball out, hurt me till I fall out And now I'm looking to them like a winner Can't get chosen till they sold out Hey, can't roll out And now I'm feeling to them like a winner All I wanna do is ball out, hurt me till I fall out Hurt me now I'm looking to them like a winner Can't get chosen till they sold out Hey, can't roll out
Thank you for listening to the One More Chance podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to the show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you get your podcasts.